And we will get into it. So, Evil Geniuses vs. Thunder Predator, game number one of this best of two series. Well, the game will get started. Of course, Banneroon's about to spawn. Fly, gonna be surrounded already. Fortune's End will root him in place for quite a while, and Matthew will have a very easy remnant setup into the sun setup of Frank. A few uphill misses, but that won't matter. As they do end up getting the first blood. I think it's down to just how cheap you can throw those remnants out and how fast Matthew is, so you can just keep applying this pressure. Another remnant, but Tree. The Tree will block it. Now they look to punish Matthew, chasing him down. Crit should have the damage output and does get it. Nice pickup for EG. It's MJZ now. Fortune's end. Not really going to affect Crit too much. He'll just continue to chase this Oracle down. And that should be a, almost a guaranteed kill, though. He will try to go for the deny with the neutrals. Won't be so lucky, though. It looks like they just kind of posture around Leo style as he TPs in. But Fortune's end. The purge off the flame guard from Arbed. Crit though, still moving forward, and now they have Ramses, but Ramses kind of just sprouted himself. Doesn't really matter. They'll find MJZ. And Leo Star, he just TP'd back, he just respawned. He doesn't want to die like this, but it looks like he will not have a choice in the matter. So Arbed will get a double kill. And that is going to put this death prop very, very far behind. In fact, MNZ is here now. Uh, uh. They'll just chase him down. He, he has waveform available. He's copying a fair bit of damage though. He does use it, but it's not going to help him as they are continuing to chase. Matthew Remnant will stop them from chasing him down. Matthew just going to try and escape now. And MNZ up top. Gets yeah, he'll be on. okay. Just strength morph. The fly doesn't have Cookie to throw out, but Abed now, he's going to rotate in on the Ember. You don't really have chains, but you definitely have a lot of damage as the Remnant now forward onto MNZ. They'll settle for MJZ instead. In fact, never mind Crit. He loses his life immediately to the Adaptive Strike and the Purifying Flames of this Oracle. As Abed is going to continue chasing down. He does get a slider fist off. Still MGZ or MJZ delaying things quite a bit. Remnant onto the Morphling. Abed won't commit it yet. False promise. They will eventually get the Oracle. And it looks like Fly does get Matthew on the uh, on the Void Spirit as well. So we'll see whether or not that will hold up if the game reaches that point. Otherwise, EG again. They've got a 5k lead now at 12 and a half minutes in. 9 to 4 in terms of the kill board. Yeah, Matthew found himself a nice easy kill onto Fly. Body blocks coming out from the illusions of Arbed. In fact, doing a great job of it as well. Uh, Ramses, he's going to be able to get a little bit closer. Pops the drums. Doesn't get the sprout. Just taking fights over and over again. Like speaking of, Arteezy by himself going to go after Matthew. Remnant doesn't latch onto the real Naga Siren. He doesn't even want the kill. He just wants the creeps. He wants to force Matthew out of the lane and just get back as bot lane. Arbet, smoke does get broken. MJZ will get caught out. Crew will take it on the Pango. In fact, they may have found more remnants forward. They really want MNZ on the Morphling. There's the chains latching. And MNZ, he just uses Waveform. Rolling Thunder's probably going to be able to lock him in place the whole time. And Ramses will be the one to pick up that kill. Arbit. Yeah, he could be in trouble. We'll be able to remnant it out in time. Silence just did not last long enough. Let's get a nice little chains off onto Frank on the way out. And Frank, gonna keep going. He wants Fly on the Snapfire. Fly, false, or rather, Fortune's End does land. Fly eventually does go down to the Crypt Swarm. Arbed, very low HP, but with the Aegis, he feels confident enough to keep moving forward. He gets the chains off. Swashbuckle, though, will not connect from Crit. And now Frank, he comes back in onto the Pangolier. Silence is there. They get another. Thunder Predator just not able to punish too well here. They might get punched themselves. Well, they could. Clumsy net on crit. Won't really lock him in place. And now Arteezy jumps in. He has Song available if he needs to, but he doesn't really as Matthew ends up going down. This team fight looking oh. really bad for Thunder. As well, they're only really left with the DP. And Leo Style does go down to Ramses and MNZ. Still trying to run away. Crit won't leave the man alone in Arbed. He'll remnant forward as well. He does have chains available in just a second, and there it is coming out. Does this Morphling survive? 
maybe with the strength morphing, it looks like he may have enough time and HP to get out of this. Though no, crits diving the tier three, giving vision over to Arbid. They will claim the full team wipe, so he will have to be a little bit careful about that. But now Arteezy, he just runs in thanks to a cookie off fly. Won't risk too much. He does want to back off now, but he'll just commit the song. EG, are we going back in? No. Fly throws a scatter blast. In fact, he does go for the cookie. Silence gonna be there. Meanwhile, MJZ getting taken down in the back to Arteezy on the Naga. With Arbed, he will get changed up, chained up by MNZ. They could burst him down, though he should have a remnant available and does. Now the rolling Ooh. thunder again from Crit, just controlling everybody. MNZ, he's in a very, very tough position right now. Arteezy is surrounding with the mirror images. He will waveform forward, but can he get out of this? It looks like he may be able to walk out this time, but you're losing so much, and the GG wall play has been called anyway. Game number one, Evil Geniuses. You'd probably want to say they had a pretty dominant victory. They're just going to keep trading away. In fact, Courier about to go down. MJZ couldn't quite finish it, so Ramses does get the regen he brought out. Print going to continue to punish the Jakiro for even thinking about it. In fact, the Impel is up, so he could go for another kill now. MJZ does stick charge up, but it will not matter. Crit does eventually find the kill. And Leo Style kind of missed a window of opportunity where he could really abuse the weakness of this hero. Well, they're going to try. X will be there on one of the Meepos. Leo style throwing in the boat and Torrent, though Torrent doesn't really connect. And now the cookie from Fly, allowing Arbit to get further away, though he should still fall and does. Fly now going to be a sitting duck. Doesn't really have anywhere to go. Finding as much EXP as he wants is back up top, though, and applying some harass onto the jack. Yeah, MJZ doesn't really have a way out of this. They will TP at least the Earth Spirit up, so Matthew gonna try and help, but it's all too late anyway. The Leo style now rotating as well on the Kunkka. They should be able to find crit as a trade. Leo style will be very happy to pick up another kill. You want aims to have. It's gonna be slow going for MNZ. Well, he's left the uh, he's left the lane alone to MJZ on the Jakiro. There's bot lane, bit of action going on. In fact, they're all diving down to go after Frank on this Centaur. Bone's gonna fly in onto Arteezy. They want to take down this Slada, but he is a little bit too tanky. In fact, never mind, he's not. Leo Style does eventually get him. Now Fly, gonna be X'd up, has nowhere to go. Matthew and Leo Style getting rid of him. They're gonna start pushing mid, Thunder Predator. They want to open up that dire jungle. It's X gonna be there. Boat flying in. Fly tries to dodge it with the cookie. Will not be successful though. And that T1 gonna cop a fair bit more damage as Leo Style does have a double damage rune active. They are gonna rotate more in. Arbit, in fact, finding MNZ in his own jungle. That anti mage trying to get some free farm in the dire side jungle. Turns out it wasn't really free. And uh, that mid T1 as well. Being defended successfully by Ramses on the timber. Yeah, they do manage to hold on to that objective, but now Tundra, they know where Abed is and try to find him. Yeah. Pretty close. Matthew gonna spot him out. Abed not gonna enjoy this position as he does get silenced up and slowed. He needs help. Fly comes in on the snapfire. Still, he has no real way to heal him up, but he does throw a cookie on. That'll at least allow that Meepo clone to get up. And now the Stampede, they just follow him down all the way. Silence him up again. Abed, he does put a tree down, but it will not be enough. Arteezy even joining in on the Slada, going after this Kunkka. They'll get the Bash of the Deeps off. And well, Leo Style, he's fairly tanky thanks to that rum buff, but it has worn off. And that should mean that Leo Style eventually just dies. So he will fairy fire up now, just delaying it even longer. Urns up in front of them. Ramses, you're going to end up finding Frank on the Centaur. They are going to fight bot. X on there on crit, although boat, it will connect, but the spike carap is going to be there in time. Now the hoof stomp all on this Nyx assassin. They do get the kill, but Ramses, he wants to fight. He's got no mana to speak of, but doesn't matter. Arbid, he's chasing now on the Meepo. They don't really catch anybody. In fact, Matthew managing to roll away for now. Still, the chase is there. Dropping all his rocks with this Magnetize. Gets a slow up as well, but the Magnetize not really going to do that much damage. 
and eventually he does go down as Arbid. Now gonna look for another net over onto MJZ. He misses, however, but has more Meepos where that came from, and they will eventually find the secondary support in the Jakiro. Thunder Predator though, of course, are going to check and Frank is going to run straight into Arteezy. Though Stun will be there before the Hoof Stomp comes out and now the Net's flying out from Arbed and they are going to find this Centaur very, very quickly and now they want more. Corrosive Haze on Matthew, they won't be able to catch out the Earth Spirit but perhaps MJZ would be a much easier target. In fact, they leave him because they want to go after Leo style on the Kunkka, though Impale doesn't land from Crit, but it doesn't matter. Arteezy has the stun. There's Fly throwing in the Mortimer's Kisses now. And this poor Kunkka has nowhere to go. He is tanking a lot of damage though, but it will not matter. It does go down eventually as Arbet. He will find the Jakiro and he will take down the Jakiro. EG claim the first Roshan of the game. Arbet now with that Ethereal, with that Aegis. Going to be feeling much more confident to start roaming around the map and trying to find pickoffs. In like fact, he may find MNZ right now. In fact, never mind, they want to go after the Centaur again. And with all these nets coming in, he's got nowhere to go, and Ramses with the Whirling Death just finishes the job off. Though, it looks like mid lane, they may find one in the form of Arteezy. He's falling rather low. He almost ended up finding MNZ. In fact, never mind, Arteezy still surviving throughout all this. Jewel Breath will come through, but he's just running forward. He doesn't care. Ice Path will eventually take him down, but at what cost? Man, this, this Battle Fury, I mean, it's looking to be around, you know, that, that 19, 20 minute mark. It's not, not the worst we've ever seen, but it isn't really great either. It's it's very, very late. Not that you can blame him, though. Mid lane, fly. Does get caught in the ice part, does get taken down. Ramses, he wants to keep going as Arbed is there to help. Again, they jump on Leo's style while Ramses, he goes after the Centaur. Leo, he just melts. MJZ also ended up going down to RTs. And they've got to maximize this period, and EG certainly is. Yeah, they found MNZ apparently. RTZ picking up the kill on the slaughter. He does get his Battle Fury up, but that's not really going to help anything. So he's lost his mid tier 3 tower. And Arbed looks like he's found Frank again. Poor Frank does get netted up. Tries to go digging with the shovel. Eventually does, well, should die. Ethereal Blade doesn't do the job. I thought I saw him trying to salve up through all that. It doesn't really matter. As Arbed does grab another kill on the Meepo. And look at this. He's going for more. He sees MJZ. He's not quite close enough to go after the Jakira with the net. But what does it matter? You've got full control over this map. And they are going to push mid. There's North split push. EG, they're just going to come forward. Smoke breaks on Leo style. They will not react. And well, Spike Carapace, Impale, Leo style, he's just gone. Ice Path, Macropire was there, but Arbet's not really taking that much damage, as now they may just turn around and go after MNZ. Nets not flying out yet, but well, here they are, with those Mortimus Kisses onto Matthew and MJZ, and my god, they're burning alive. And that's it, GG War play has been called, I cannot blame them whatsoever. It's a, it's a very rough game to try and go into, and... Well, I mean, we talked about it. They didn't have the counters for the Meepo. EG picked up the Meepo at fourth pick. And I guess you could have guessed this was going to happen.